This is a book bull summary of the book, Built to Last, by Jim Collins. Visionary companies have a lot to teach us about enduring success. These companies are widely admired and considered the crown jewels of their industries, and they prosper even as great leaders retire and hit products become obsolete. To properly study and learn from these companies, the authors surveyed hundreds of prominent CEOs to identify the 18 most commonly mentioned visionary firms, including names like Walt Disney Company, Marriott Hotels, and Merck. The study also included comparison companies that shared similar products and markets, but were called visionary far less often. By examining all aspects of these corporations across their considerable lifespans, the authors found that the visionary companies outperformed the general market by a wide margin. In fact, if you had invested a dollar in their shares in 1926, that dollar would have been worth $6,356 by 1990. No wonder that the findings of this study have fascinated Fortune 500 companies. The Surprising Truth About Visionary Companies You might think that great ideas or charismatic leaders are what makes a company successful, but the reality is quite different. Let's take the example of Sony and Hewlett Packard. The founders of these companies didn't have any specific idea in mind when they started. In fact, they experimented with diverse ideas ranging from sweetened bean paste to automatic urinal flushers. So, if great ideas and charismatic leaders aren't the secret of enduring success, then what is? The answer lies in building outstanding organizations that constantly generate great ideas and leaders. It's like building your own clock. Having one great idea or visionary leader is like being able to tell the time in that instant. But building an organization that constantly churns out great ideas and leaders is like building a reliable machine. So if you want to create a visionary company, focus on building an outstanding organization that constantly generates great ideas and leaders. It's the key to enduring success. The Power of Purpose how core ideology drives visionary companies to success. Many people believe that companies are solely driven by profits, but in reality, successful companies have a higher purpose for their existence that guides their every decision. For instance, Johnson & Johnson's Our Credo document outlines their responsibilities to customers, employees, and shareholders, with profits coming last. This exemplifies how successful companies prioritize their core values and higher purpose over profits. But how do they make money without being profit-focused? Visionary companies find a way to stay pragmatic in their business decisions while never wavering from their core values. However, the importance of a core ideology goes beyond just profitability. In times of crisis, companies like Ford have used their core values to guide them and uphold the values of their founders. On the other hand, comparison companies like General Motors made no such effort. Each visionary company has a unique core ideology, but what matters most is that it exists and guides the company's decisions and actions. The content of the ideology is less important than the fact that it prioritized the company's values. The secret sauce of visionary companies, balancing ideology and progress. If you're finding this video to be enjoyable, show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel for even more fantastic content. Your encouragement means everything to me and drives me to keep creating videos for you. Have you ever wondered how companies like Walmart, Boeing, and Marriott managed to stay on top of their game for so long? The secret lies in their ability to balance their core ideologies with a relentless pursuit of progress and improvement. These companies have guiding principles that they hold dear, but they're not afraid to change the way they do things in order to stay ahead of the curve. They experiment with different strategies and technologies while staying true to their core beliefs. The magic of visionary companies is that they never settle and never become complacent. They are always striving to improve their products, business, and organization. They stimulate progress by setting bold goals and creating mechanisms that encourage innovation and improvement. So, if you want to be a visionary company, it's all about finding the balance between preserving your core ideology while embracing change and progress. And that, my friends, is the secret sauce of visionary companies. Big, hairy, audacious goals. Why visionary companies swear by them. At first glance, ambitious goals may seem unattainable but they can serve as a tangible driving force for an organization's success. Take the example of Boeing's unwavering commitment to developing the 747 jet, even at the risk of a company's survival. Similarly, IBM's ambitious goal of achieving global status helped them become one of the world's most successful companies. These big, hairy, audacious goals, BHAGs, often take on a life of their own and inspire new goals in line with the company's core ideology. They are a powerful tool used by visionary companies to stimulate progress and achieve greatness. So, when setting goals, don't be afraid to aim high and set a BHAG that will inspire and motivate you towards new heights. The cult-like culture of visionary companies, thrive or exit? Hey there, welcome to our video on the cult-like culture of visionary organizations. 
These companies pursue their core ideologies so passionately they can be compared to cults. New recruits either thrive or leave, and there's not much room for compromise. For instance, at IBM, new managers in training would rise and sing songs from an IBM songbook, and Walt Disney Company expected its employees to embody wholesome family fun. However, this fanaticism doesn't mean that these companies are personality cults centered around a charismatic CEO or founder. Instead, they revolve around the core ideology of the company. While some might find the strict standard of visionary companies off-putting, their employees are confident and can be counted on to adhere to the company's values. This allows for experimentation and progress, enabling them to avoid groupthink and ultimately thrive. How visionary companies create a legacy of exceptional leaders. Hey there, welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the secret to how visionary companies produce a continual stream of high caliber leaders. You see, it's not just about having a great CEO on the helm. What's even more impressive is the ability to cultivate managerial talent within the company, ensuring new leaders continue to align with the company's core ideology. And that's exactly what visionary companies do. Take General Electric, GE for example. While Jack Welch is undoubtedly their most famous CEO, GE has enjoyed a century of Welch caliber CEOs thanks to their emphasis on internal management training and CEO succession planning. In fact, GE alumni have gone on to become executives of American corporations more than any other company. On the other hand, comparison companies often make the mistake of hiring external CEOs who are unfamiliar with the company, resulting in ill-conceived directions. And CEOs at comparison companies often neglect succession planning, leaving gaping holes in leadership when they leave. Some even actively sabotage would-be candidates. So in short, visionary companies create a legacy of exceptional leaders by prioritizing internal management training and timely succession planning. It's a proven recipe for long-term success, and we hope you found this video informative. The power of experimentation in visionary companies. Did you know that evolutionary progress in business can be stimulated by encouraging experimentation? That's right. Just like in the natural world where slight variations are introduced to a species and the strongest new variants survive, visionary companies understood the need to stimulate a similar process within their businesses. Take, for example, Johnson & Johnson's famous Band-Aids. It all started with an employee's quick thinking to bandage his wife's finger with surgical tape and gauze. When he mentioned the idea to the J&J &J marketing department, they embraced it and eventually Band-Aid products became the company's best-selling category. Similarly, 3M directed its employees to use 15% of their working time to work on any pet projects they felt like. Two such products by two separate employees eventually collided to produce the famous post-it notes. However, not all experiments are successful. And that's okay. Just like in evolution, some variations fail. And the same is true in business. In fact, J&J &J experimented with prominent failures too, such as its colored casts for children with bone fractures. But visionary companies understood that failed experiments are a necessary price to pay for evolution and must not be punished lest further experimentation be discouraged. In contrast, we have 3M's comparison company, Norton, which actually discouraged the pursuit of opportunities outside of its traditional product lines. By doing so, they missed out on the chance to produce a revolutionary product like post-it notes. So there you have it, folks. The power of experimentation in visionary companies cannot be understated. By encouraging their companies and management to experiment with new ideas, products, and practices, visionary companies can stimulate evolutionary progress and create game-changing products. How visionary companies turn their values into reality. Have you ever noticed how many companies claim to have idealistic values, but don't really do anything to put them into practice? Well, that's where visionary companies set themselves apart. They don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk. Take 3M for example. Instead of just saying they want their employees to be more innovative, they implemented mechanisms to encourage it. This includes allowing employees to use 15% of their time on personal projects and setting a requirement that 30% of each division's annual sales must come from products less than four years old. Similarly, Walmart used Beat Yesterday ledgers to compare daily sales to those of the year prior and Hewlett Packard ranked its employees annually to ensure constant improvement. But visionary companies don't stop there. They also invested heavily in new technologies, human capital development, and research and development. Merck, for instance, deliberately modeled its labs after academic ones and allowed its researchers to publish their findings in academic journals. This attracted top scientists to their team and propelled them to become a force in medical research. So there you have it. Visionary companies don't just talk about their values. They take concrete actions to make them a reality. We hope this video provided valuable insights and information for you. Which of the core values of a company do you believe is most important for long-term success, purpose, or progress? 
let us know in the comments. And if you learned something new in this video, make sure to hit the button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you, and until next time.